green industry best management practices, reduce water pollution, and conserve water. We do this by utilizing appropriate site design and plant selection, sound landscape maintenance practices, appropriate rates and methods of applying fertilizer and irrigation, and integrated pest management to minimize pests and apply chemicals only when appropriate. Hi, I'm Susan, the Commercial Horticulture and Integrated Pest Management Agent for the University of Florida Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences, Hillsborough County Extension. You may be wondering what all that means, so I'm going to provide you with a brief history of Extension. Take a look at this video that was made to celebrate the 150th anniversary of land-grant universities. It's going to show you what laid the groundwork for Extension. In 1862, as the Civil War raged, President Lincoln saw a bright future and helped ensure it by signing the Morrill Act that gave Americans greater access to higher education. As Florida's land-grant institution, the University of Florida continues that spirit with its positive impact on the lives of people in cities, towns, and on farms across the state. UF salutes 150 years of the land-grant system with its ongoing commitment to improve the way people experience their lives. About 50 years later, in 1914, the Smith-Lever Act established the Cooperative Extension Service, a partnership between these land-grant universities and the U.S. Department of Agriculture, and that was to provide scientific knowledge and expertise to the public. In 1964, the University of Florida combined a number of different colleges to form the Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences, now known as UF IFAS. Extension is a partnership between county, state, and the federal government to bring this knowledge and expertise to the public. University of Florida and Florida A&M University provide those extension services to the public in Florida. So now you know the origin of our lengthy name. So what does Extension do? Our mission is to develop and share knowledge in agriculture, human and natural resources, and the life sciences with the public to sustain and enhance the quality of life. That sounds pretty lofty, doesn't it? But we're a team and we have a lot of good people working together to provide solutions for your life. Extension program areas include agriculture, the environment, families and consumers, lawn and garden, sustainable living, disaster preparation and recovery, and 4-H and youth development. In response to public needs, we provide classes, consultations, demonstrations, educational materials, field days, and meetings and workshops. For more information on Extension, visit the website solutionsforyourlife.ufl.edu. Another exciting aspect about Extension is that we're able to partner and collaborate with other organizations to provide the best information to our citizens. It was in response to community concerns about water quality and water quantity issues in Florida that the green industry's best management practices were developed. This science-based educational program is brought to you by the UF IFAS Florida Friendly Landscaping Program and the Florida Department of Environmental Protection. The GIBMPs teach environmentally safe landscaping practices that help conserve and protect Florida's ground and surface waters. Don Rainey, our Green Industries Best Management Practices State Coordinator, will tell you more about the program. The program was designed as a water quality program, and it was primarily looking at those practices that were going on in the landscape and how they could improve them to prevent runoff and leaching of chemicals or fertilizers into our water bodies. It's also about water conservation, and we look at irrigation and how we can apply it correctly uh, with the right amounts of water and also at the right time. It also looks at plant selection. The audience for the program would primarily be those in the landscape management area, those who are taking care of lawns, ornamentals, applying fertilizers, pesticides, those who are even pruning, and even those who are selling products. Uh, we want to uh, get this knowledge to them so that we can better 
uh, protect our, our water quality. Florida law SB 494 requires all commercial or for hire fertilizer applicators or supervisors of fertilizer applications to have a Florida Department of Agriculture and Consumer Services fertilizer license by January of 2014. The license is called the Limited Certification for Urban Landscape Commercial Fertilizer. To obtain this license, every worker that applies or supervises the application of fertilizer must receive GIBMP training, score a minimum of 75% on a test following the training, receive a GIBMP certificate of completion issued by UF IFAS and the Florida Department of Environmental Protection, and apply to FDAX for the fertilizer license. The license is valid for four years and requires four continuing education units to renew. These CEUs must be submitted 90 days prior to license expiration. Many counties in Florida have fertilizer ordinances that required this training and licensing prior to 2014. By participating in the certification program, you will learn that the key ways to protect water quantity and quality are to reduce the off-site transport of sediments, nutrients, and pesticides through surface water runoff or leaching to groundwater, use appropriate landscape design and plant selection, use appropriate rates and methods of applying fertilizer and irrigation, and use integrated pest management to minimize pests and apply chemicals only when appropriate. As part of the Green Industries Best Management Practices Program, we have produced a series of five videos that will help you accomplish those goals. Video two will explain non-point source pollution, why it is such an important concern, and present the nine principles of Florida-friendly landscaping. Video three is about irrigation management and irrigating to supplement rainfall only when needed. Video four explains fertilizer facts, functions, and how to figure the correct amount of fertilizer to apply. Video five shows you how to properly calibrate your spreader so that you can be sure you are applying the correct amount of fertilizer. These videos were made possible through a collaborative effort between Southwest Florida Water Management District and the University of Florida Institute of Food and Agricultural Sciences Extension. Keep watching and soon you will understand how you can protect and preserve Florida's precious water resources.